Hey everybody, how's everybody doing today? It is minus three degrees here where I am. Hope it's warmer warmer by you. But I figure what, what better to do on a cold day than uh, make a couple Excel videos. So let's, uh, let's start off here by doing the, going over this video. What I wanna do here is show you how to uh, sort different scores by, um, by the average of the person who, uh, who gets all the scores. So um, we're gonna use functions to uh, create the average. So let's say, we okay, we've got this table here. We've got all these players here and all the, their different scores that they got. Um, it's just an imaginary game. It's just, just to kind of show you how to, how to use this. But so they got all these players and scores. So obviously, I mean, you could use a pivot table and, and do this, but I wanna show you a way to do it without using a pivot table, just using uh, functions. So, First, let's get our list of people that we have in here. So we're, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy this to a new section here. So I got the names here. And we wanna remove the duplicates. So we're going up to data, and then remove duplicates. Uh, it's just column F, we'll click OK. There. So it says 13 duplicates found, five unique re values remain. So these are the five people that are in here. So we will, I'm gonna move them right down here, and I'm gonna create the new table right here of their average. So we get player and average score. And to get average score, we're gonna use the average if function. Since there's only uh, one criteria to check just by uh, the name, so we're just gonna use the average if. So what I'm gonna do, uh, let's insert a function, average if, click OK, and we get it right here. So let's say here, what's the range? The range is the cell that you want evaluated. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna highlight all of these names. And then what's the criteria for this range? Criteria is what do you want it to check? So it's gonna be this cell. We wanna find all the words as Jeff in here. And then what do you want it to average? You want it to average a corresponding column with the same uh, number of rows. So we're going to highlight column B. I see how it says A2 to A A19. Here's B2 to B19. These have to be the same. So what Excel is going to do, it's going to it's going to look for this criteria, which is F2, which is Jeff. It's going to go, oh, here's a Jeff 47. Here's a Jeff 38. Here's a Jeff 41. And that's all there is. There's three of them. And then it's going to say, okay, I'm going to average those three together. And what do we get? We have 42. So that's how we get the average just for Jeff, to get the other ones, you have to copy this down. However, before we copy down, you always gotta remember to, to check your formula to make sure that it's anchored. What that means is, see right now, it's A2 to A19. You can always check this, you can copy this down one, and if you look, now it's A3 to A20, it's not even looking at this top one. We, wanna, we have to fix that. So, what you can do, you can put dollar signs in front of everything, or what you can do, you just put your cursor on there and press F4, and it puts the dollar signs in there for you. We want it, so then, we want this F2 to change, so we don't wanna to touch that, but we want B2 to B19 to stay the same. Oops, F4, F4, press Enter. So now if you look at it, it's gonna always be A2. Oh, this one didn't work either. I pressed four instead of F4. So you press F4 there. And there, so we've got our formula. We wanna make sure this F2 isn't anchored, so when we copy it down, there. Now we've got F3, so it's looking up Steve. Here's F4, so let's look up Julio. Now we've got all, all the averages, and now if we want them sorted, it's just simple data sort. You can go up to data, sort this descending, and there we go. And of course, I mean, since it's Excel, we want this to look better so we can afford to uh, make it as comma, put the number of decimal places we want. And there, we use the average if function to create an average of all these players. And it's the work, watch. Watch, if this Julio score becomes 47, all becomes, becomes 200. There, look, now Julio's got 94 average. You can go data sort again. And now Julio's the, the highest one. So it works very similar to the pivot table. But you don't have to deal with working with the pivot table. You can just use the function, and that's it. Thanks a lot, guys.